Welcome again to another exciting edition of the Unlimited Life in Christ television broadcast. Once again, I'm privileged to be able to share God's word with you, especially as we enter into a new year, the year of our Lord, 2013. I want to thank God for all that he has done for us in the past year. And as we enter into this year, I want us to have a spirit of expectation and a spirit of faith concerning what our great God is able to achieve in our lives. It does not matter what the experience of the past year has been. I want to talk to you today about the God of new beginnings or the God of a new beginning. Like I said, it does not matter what the experience of the past year has been. God is still our God and he's still a good God. His nature and his character have not changed. He's on the throne and he lives and exists to bless you. Now, can we just go into the word of God? I want to take my text from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 15 through 21. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 15 through 21. It says, I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, which makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. He said, he is the one that brings forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinct, they are quenched as a towel. Now notice particularly verse 18. Verse 18 says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Very important. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. That's right, that's what God is telling you right now, my dear, my dear viewer. He's saying to you that he's about to do a new thing in your life. And he said, now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? He said, I will make a way in the wilderness. That is the kind of God that we serve, ladies and gentlemen. He's the God that makes a way in the wilderness. And it does not matter what your experience, like I said earlier, of the past year has been. I want you to be in expectation and in anticipation concerning what God is able to do in your life, even this new year. He said, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? He said, I will make a way in the wilderness and I'll make rivers in the desert. So God Almighty qualifies the new thing that he wants to do in your life. He said, does your life look like a wilderness? Be of good cheer. He said, I'm able and I will make a way in that wilderness. He said, I will create or cause rivers to flow in the desert. Our God is still a God that makes a way in the wilderness. Our God is still a God that causes rivers to flow us out, out, out of a desert. I want you to know that if you are connected to the God of the Bible, that is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are always in a situation of hope. There is always hope in your future because the nature and character of this our God is that he is a good God and that he makes a way in the wilderness and he makes rivers in the desert. So if you're listening to me today, you are a blessed man, you are a blessed woman. In the new year 2013, regardless of the experiences of the past year, God still desires to make a way in your wilderness. God still desires to cause rivers to flow out of your desert. And that is good news. He said in verse 20, the beast of the field shall honor me because of what I will do. The dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and I give rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Verse 21 said, This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. If you belong to God, if you're a child of God, I want you to understand this, that every year, according to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, said the path of a just man is as a shining light, and it shines more and more to the perfect day. So your destiny in God is for every year of your life to continually get better and better.